The ever-increasing power and speed of the Silver Arrows has led to a reduction in engine capacity for the 1938 season. There's now a limit of three litres supercharged or four and a half litres unsupercharged. The maximum weight of 750 kilograms is abandoned and a minimum weight of 850 kilograms, excluding driver, fuel, oil and water, is imposed. Mercedes are quick to produce their new car, the W154, a shorter version of the W125 chassis, which is powered by a supercharged 3-litre V12, producing 450 brake horsepower at 8,000 RPM. The De Dion rear axle is retained, but by setting the engine at an angle to the chassis, Rudolf Uhlenhau and the Mercedes engineers are able to run the prop shaft beside the driver, making the W154 much lower than its predecessors. After testing at Monza in March, seen here with Rudolf Uhlenhau at the wheel, Mercedes enter two cars for the Po GP in April. They're soundly beaten by Rennie Dreyfus in a Delahaye. They're back on form at Tripoli, however, as Hermann Lang leads von Braukic and Caracciola to the flag. And then Manfred scores a rare victory in the French Grand Prix at Reims, where he's followed home by Caracciola and Lang. Three auto unions are entered, one crashes in practice, the others on the first lap of the race. Professor Eberan Eberhorst has designed the new D-type auto union. And like Mercedes, he's opted for a three liter supercharged V12 engine. It produces 485 horsepower. Three camshafts instead of the previous one help increase engine speed to 7,000 RPM. A De Dion rear end is employed for the first time following Mercedes' example. Fuel tanks either side of the driver and the shorter V12 engine reduce the length of the auto union by almost seven inches. The driver is now nearer the center of the car. The great Tazio Nuvolari joins the team in time for the German Grand Prix in July. Backing him up are Hans Stuck, Rudolf Hasse and H.P. Muller. Fastest in practice is Manfred von Braukic in 9 minutes 48.4 seconds. His Mercedes teammates are Rudolf Caracciola, Hermann Lang and Richard Seaman. It's a ragged start, but Lang and Nuvolari get away first, followed by Seaman and von Braukic. Here is Nuvolari in the carousel. On the second lap, von Braukic takes the lead, sliding the Mercedes recklessly through the forest. Now, sensation! Nuvolari is out! having left the road on the first lap. René Dreyfus guides his outclass Delahaye through the carousel before being lapped by von Braukic. H.P. Muller is called in and hands his auto union to Nuvolari. Tazio rejoins the race in fourth place. Meanwhile, Hermann Lang has taken over from Caracciolo, who's unwell. Hans Stuck stops to replenish both himself and his auto union. Here's Lang, now in Caracciolo's Mercedes. And Rudolf Hasser presses on. 
Dick Seaman is just 10 seconds behind the race leader, Von Brokic, and now follows him into the pits. Suddenly, fire. Team manager Neubauer drags Von Brokic from his cockpit as the Mercedes mechanics try to extinguish his blazing car. Caracciola, on the right, watches with languid interest as Seaman calmly drives through the drama and takes the lead in the German Grand Prix. Manfred gamely rejoins the race, giving us a chance to appreciate the beautiful lines of the new Mercedes. Hans Stuck is now third. And Nuvolari fourth. Hermann Lang finishes second in Caracciola's car. Hans Stuck is third for Auto Union. But the race belongs to Dick Seaman, who becomes the first Englishman to win a Grand Prix since Sir Henry Seagrave won the French 15 years ago. This is a great day for Great Britain. Proudly wearing the victor's laurels, Dick can hardly bring himself to give even a half-hearted Nazi salute and seems to be asking his hand, what do you think you're doing? Later, Dick celebrates with Erica Pop, daughter of the president of BMW. Already, there are rumors of an engagement. Despite his magnificent victory at the Nürburgring, there's no Mercedes for Seaman at the next two races. The Coppa Ciano, won by Hermann Lang, and the Coppa Acerbo, won by Rudolf Caracciola. Dick is back in the team for the Swiss Grand Prix, however, and in the pouring rain, drives the race of his life to finish second to rainmaster Rudolf Caracciola. They're seen here with Mercedes director Max Seiler and Alfred Neubauer. As Austria has recently become part of Germany, it's decided to hold a German mountain championship climb on the Grossglockner Pass in August. Alfred Neubauer asks Dick Seaman to have a look at it. Dick borrows a Mercedes from the factory and takes Erika Pop with him. He decides that he doesn't like the look of the pass at all, but he very much likes the look of Fraulein Pop, so he asks her to marry him, and in this romantic setting, they become engaged. The middle section of the pass involves a very fast downhill run and two tunnels, so the organizers wisely decide to split the climb into two, cutting out the middle, Seaman declines to take part, so Mercedes enter two W125s for Hermann Lang and Manfred von Braukic. Auto Union enter two C-types for Hans Stuck and H.P. Muller, but the latter crashes in the Swiss Grand Prix and cannot take part. Sportführer Hünlein opens the course. The second climb is under thick cloud, so the event is changed to two runs on the lower course but only after a sit-down strike by the drivers. It rains for the first heat, and Stuck is fastest, beating Lang by 2.3 seconds. Von Brakic is nowhere. In the dry second heat, Von Brakic improves his time by over one and a half minutes, beating Lang by three-tenths of a second. Herman Lang did many hours of practice, but to no avail. He cannot beat Hans Stuck, who improves his first time by 70 seconds. With a superb display of driving, Hans becomes Deutscher Bergmeister yet again. King of the mountains indeed.
The team managers are on parade at Monzo. Here's Alfred Neubauer, Nello Ugolini, and Dr. Feuerreisen of Auto Union. And now the cars. The auto unions of Nuvolari, Muller, and Kautz. The Mercedes of von Braukic, Caracciola, Seaman, and Lang. The Alphas of Farina, Vermeil, Gassi, and Belmondo, and the Maseratis of Trossi, Villaresi, and Zayenda. Here's Dr. Feuerreisen again, now with his four drivers, Hans Stuck, Tazio Nuvolari, H.P. Muller, and Christian Kautz. On the front row of the grid are Nuvolari, von Braukic, and Kautz. H.P. Muller is next to Caracciola. They're off, and Nuvolari and Lang are well away. Kautz leads Nuvolari through the chicane. This is Hans Stuck, followed by Nuvolari. Number 14 is Trossi. Lang leads Nuvolari. Both teams of Silver Arrows are in trouble, and only one of each finishes the race. Here's Dr. Farina on his way to second place in his Alpha. Goffredo Zander tries to demolish the chicane with his Maserati, but merely adds to it. Nuvolari makes one final stop for more tyres. Tazio wins the Italian Grand Prix for the third time but it's the first victory for Auto Union this year. <laughs>